Hey guys, uh, it's been a hell of a while since I last did a video, um, but here I am back again, Luke Holso with Mr. Holso Music, cracking back out some tunes. Um, so, I hope you've all been practicing, um, kind of. I mean, I'm sure we can all remember the chords of G, G, D, 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 and there's also the a minor and A major. Um, yeah. Um, today I'm actually not going to be teaching, but it's competition time. Mm, yeah, competition time. This will be something new. Every time I learn to um, play a songola, um, I'll play it for you guys, and the first one to guess it um, will win something. This time it'll be a signed T-shirt. Um, you should put your guesses in the comments, um, or if you know me on Facebook or where so, and first one to guess it will win the signed t-shirt. Anyone else after that, you'll win nothing. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will spare up some more, um, some more views and stuff for my videos, because maybe people like a good old competition. I don't know even know if you want a signed t-shirt from me. I mean... I wouldn't. So, hence where I'm giving it away. I don't want it. Um, yeah. Anywho, um, song requires one of these, which is a capo. A capo can be placed on any bar, and you can play just different sorts of chords, different noises of chords um, down the neck. Then instead of just doing the old basic at the top, like obviously this is a G, normal G. You place the capo, say on the third fret. And it becomes a little bit more high pitched. A little bit more high pitched. So you can play around with capos, they're a good little bit of fun. Um, they make guitar and much more fun. I'd say a lot of songs use them, a lot of songs. The song I'm doing today requires the capo on the 8th fret. And that is the only clue you're getting. Maybe. I don't know. It depends how bad it is. As I say, I can play some of it. I'm not very good, obviously. I've never claimed to be good. I'm still an amateur. The rhythm, the rhythm may not be there. I'll be honest. Um, I've seen a lot of different people do a lot of different rhythms. I listen to the song myself, and it's kind of difficult to pick up the rhythm because there's another instrument going on at the same time. But the rhythm I sort of picked up myself, I think it suits me. It, it's what I do. It suits me. So let's crack on. Crack on with the song and the comp. Listen up, guys. If you know it, quote it. And that 
is where I'll end it. Obviously, not the best. Um, whether you can even understand what it is, I'm not sure. That's why I slowed it down at the end, just to try and like separate the chords. Because I'm not sure with the quality of the video whether it's just going to mix it all in. It's all going to sound the same. Um, but it, it's a nice little song. It's quite easy to play. Um, if you watch it, Marty Swartz was the guy I got off. Um, he taught how to do it. His rhythm is the one I didn't agree with um, when I played it and then listened to the song so I made it my own. Whether my rhythm's right, his rhythm's right, or someone else's rhythm's right, I don't know. You just have to ask the writer of the song, obviously. Um, tried that, didn't work. Um, didn't get back to me, obviously. He's the fucking writer of the song. Like, he's got better things to do than asking some kid asking what's the rhythm to your song. Um, but yeah, I did want to play some my acoustic, but I couldn't get the capo to work and it angered me. It really did. I mean, I got my acoustic out and I put other guitars away to get the acoustic out, and then all of a sudden, boom, ooh, capo didn't want to work. It sounded really horrible and twangy, and I couldn't work out why. Well, I think because the neck of my um, acoustic is quite thick, so the capo doesn't quite sit properly. Um, so yeah, no, that was annoying. Um, but yeah, so, that's that. Uh, next video may be out soon, maybe out, like, tomorrow or next month, I'm not sure, depends. Um, if you have any questions about anything, uh, if you want me to learn any songs for you, then I can teach you them. I, after this, after the, someone guesses this, I'll, I'll teach you this song if you want. It's a nice little doohickey. Um, yeah. That's that. Sign t-shirt if you guess it. Uh, give me a like, give me a comment. Uh, subscribe. Uh, I'm getting somewhere. I actually have, obviously I think I said in the last video, I have views in France now, so it's all starting to take off slowly. Beautiful. Um, yeah, thank you very much, guys. That was another video from Mr. Hustle Music, and I'm signing off. Goodbye and good night.